as we gather to celebrate 96 years of ministry that is closely entwined with the history of Canada itself, we do so acknowledging that we have been able to accomplish this project, this union on traditional lands of people who lived here long before any settlers showed up. The United Church was inaugurated on June 10th, 1925 in Toronto, Ontario, when the Methodist Church, the Congregational Union of Canada, and 70% of the Presbyterian Church of Canada entered into a union. Also joining was a small General Council of Union Churches centered largely in Western Canada. It was the first union of churches in the world to cross historical denominational lines and received international acclaim. Each of the founding churches had a long history in Canada prior to 1925. The movement for church union began with a desire to coordinate ministry in the vast Canadian Northwest and for collaboration in overseas missions. Congregations in Indigenous communities from each of the original denominations were an important factor in the effort toward church union. The United Church of Canada continues to be a uniting church and has been enriched by several additional unions since 1925. In 1930, the Synod of the Wesleyan Methodist Church of Bermuda became part of the United Church of Canada's Maritime Conference. The Evangelical United Brethren Church became part of the United Church of Canada in 1968. In addition, various individual congregations from other Christian communions have become part of the United Church over the years. Today, the United Church ministers to over 2 million people through about 3,000 communities of faith or congregations. In April and May, ministry personnel from across the United Church of Canada joined together in song. Almost 70 singers sent in videos. Musicians from across the church and the Prince George Conservatory of Music created the accompaniment track. Together, we offer you this gift from ministry personnel to the church that we love so much.